Hey y'all, Rhonda here. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, got a few things from HSN Craft Days. Yes, I did. If you saw my last video, you saw that I got a few things. And I got in the oh, what's it, oh thermal cinch machine. So let's dive in. Let me grab it. And I was really surprised it, it's as light as it is. I mean, I just opened the top of it. So let's open this and see what we have. Yeah, it's it's really light. Okay, hang on. Oop. Lord have mercy. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see how many things I can knock over. Thermal. Cinch machine. Create thermal bound books in minutes. Okay. Well, we're going to see if it's living up to all the hype. Let's see what else I can knock over. <laughs> okay. With this bundle, this was an auto ship. So you got all this, you got all this, and then you're supposed to be getting more stuff. I don't know when. Sometime. So in this, we have thermal cinch. We have thermal cinch glue strips. Looks like we have 12 of them. And then we have thermal cinch spines. These are neutrals. Okay, and you can see the little, maybe, can you see the, the score marks there? So that's for a pretty thin one. This one is spines, uh, die cut, it calls it. So it has the little, the different, uh, oh, there we go. The different edging. Creates thermal bound books with 30 to 50 pages. Okay, and we have rainbow. Okay, and then they do have um, bookmarks and I don't know, all kinds of stuff. So let's set this to the side and see what we have inside. Okay, like I said, let me see if it has poundage on here. It has six pieces. I mean, this is like really light. All right. So we're going to open this, maybe. Ah, uh, this is those weird ones I don't like. Let me get some assistance here. <laughs> you know, that you got to push. Let me see. That, that's a little thingy right there. And then it opens up. Okay. It's like in the beautiful packaging. So there it is inside. If we can get this out. Oh man, it's like okay, and it's on the edges has these little dumaflotches here. Oh, in the bottom of the box, let's see here. We have something. Probably instructions. I know I'm making all kinds of noise here. Here we go. Let's put that over there and take these off there okay I mean this is like lighter than a toaster I'm just I'm really floored it's so light okay so this is what it looks like so it has a little rubber bottom there there's the back side like I said it probably doesn't weigh I don't know a couple pounds of that all right so the timer and then plug it so right here's the instructions um, Plug in machine and flip switch on the side pan pantal panel. Oh, so right here on the end, there's a little red. So you flip it from one side to the other. Uh, blinking light will beep when machine is ready. Place the book in machine and press timer. Blinking light will beep when the book is ready. Remove the book and let the let it cool in the holder for five minutes. Okay, there's a little blinky light right there, I guess. All right, let's see what it comes with. Excuse me. So we have the thermal cinch. So we have the dust cover. Okay, that goes on top. It's also the cooling slot. Power switch. We have the cord. A binding slot. That's where it gets hot inside. Timer button, indicator light, and cord storage. Oh, so that's what that is. So these little feet right here like that. So you just wrap your cord around there and uh, keeps it out of the way. I uh, likey likey. 
So we'll have to try that. All right, then we have warnings and, you know, don't stick your fingers in there. We have instructions uh, about cutting it. Select your binding spine and trim to desired length. Complete your book contents and include, oh, that included, um, it's a uh, quarter of an inch binding spine to hold up to 50 sheets of copy paper or 25 sheets of cardstock. Insert the pages into the cover of the binding and peel adhesive liners off. Okay. Then insert any um, accessories by adhering them. That's, so that's like your um, book markers and things. Plug machine in and flip the power switch on the side. Indicator light will come on. Press book. Okay. And then the machine, it takes about two minutes, it says, to heat up. Place book in machine and press timer. Indicator light will stop blinking and beep when the book is ready approximately two minutes. Remove book and let stand in the cooling slot for five minutes. Okay. Sounds easy enough. And it comes with spines and glue and a little clippy. So I'm assuming, yeah, so all these spines have the glue, I guess, already attached to it. So I guess I need to find copy paper because, I mean, you can make, how, how tall is this? So these are 12 inches. So you could technically, technically, you know, make a, like an album, the 12 by 12 papers. So let me find some copy paper and something for my spine. I mean, for my front and back cover and I will be back. Okie doke. So I did some trimming. I, this is just plain um, copy paper. I think it's 24 pound. And then this is some cardstock, um, like scrapbook paper. Anyway, I just trimmed it down. It is, what did I trim it to? So it's six by five and a half. And it's just, I don't know. Oh, cause I was gonna do the six. I screwed that up. I'm gonna have to trim this down because I was going to make it six, and then I don't know what I was doing. I kept trimming. So let's trim this down. Just a, just a hair over five and a half. I mean, just a hair. Let me trim this down. But in the meantime, let me go this way. Let's plug this in and get it warming up and see what happens, because I think it takes two minutes to warm it up, it says, and two minutes to cook. I'm taking a little tie thing off the cord here. Oh, come on. There we go. Throw that away. All right, let's plug this in. Okay, and then we're supposed to scooch back up here. So we're supposed to hit that little button on the side. And a little blue light came on there. And it went off and it went on. And it's uh, doing its thing. So I guess we should open this. That's what it looks like inside. This is where you uh, put your project to cool. So it's beeping. I mean, it's blinking. So it's heating up. Caution, hot surface. Do not touch. Don't, don't be touching this. Okay. All right. So this is going to warm up and I'm going to trim this. Okay. While I was trimming that, it beeped. And so that was a quick two minutes. All right. So this is what it looks like. This is your spine and it's scored. And it has the glue strip there and then it has adhesive on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this in. I don't know if you're supposed to, but that way we'll know. I mean, score it just a little bit there. Fold it just a little bit. Okay. Anyway, I was trying to do it by six because these are 12 inches long and I didn't want to waste anything. So I could make two six, you know, six inches wide books about... Anyway, kind of screwed that out. All right, so you are supposed to, it comes with a little clip. So I made sure everything was really even on the spine edge. Let me see what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna dry fit. It looks like it's just gonna be perfect. I think there's about 42 pages, 42 individual pages. Okay, so we're supposed to take the adhesive off one side. I'm gonna do it like this so I can get it good. And even, let me get over here where you can see me. Let 
kind of concentrate there. Okay, I'm gonna rub that down just a little bit to burnish it. And then take this side off. I'll make sure that butts up against there really well. Pushing on it and pulling that over. Like I said, this is my first time to do it, so I don't, I'm just kind of, you know. All right, so that's what it looks like. So we're going to keep this on there. I don't know if we're supposed to or not. So, okay, then we're supposed to take it and drop it down in there. And you can feel the heat. Oh, timer. Oh, oh. See, it is, it's very light. Okay, now that little blue light is flashing. But I mean, you can tip that over really easily. So it looks like there is a heating bar, a little metal heating bar at the very bottom. And then there's these plastic um, guides or whatever. They kind of come together like this. So when you put your book down in there, it kind of holds it stable and holds it up. And then it touches that metal bar down there um, at the very bottom. So now we wait for two minutes and it had a pretty loud beep. I hear it clicking. I hear it cooking. I'm peeking. Yeah, even though that's kind of flopped over, I mean, it's still the bottom of it is on the bottom flat. So it's not tilted or anything. Like I said, that the plastic piece is kind of, you know, keep it straight. I just, my first impression so far, I just wished it was a little weighted at the bottom because it is so easy to tip over. I mean, really easy to tip over. But if it had just a little bit of weight, um, it wouldn't. So, I mean, if you, you know, I'm, I'm afraid if you bump the table or, like I said, you're reaching for something, you could knock that over really easily. So, um, anyway, so what should we talk about? Hmm. I was watching the interview with uh, Robin. Oh, I guess I won't. So it beep beeped. Okay, so that means we're done. The little blue light is staying on. See the little blue light there? All right, so we're going to take this out and put it right over here in the back. Just set it back there in the cooling rack. Right back here. Like I said, it's just that alarm. You can feel the heat coming off of there. I'm going to turn you back this way. So we're going to let it cool for a few minutes, and then we will open it up, and I want to see if it lays flat and what it does and everything. Um... I'll look at my clock here. <clears throat> but no, what I was going to say is I was watching the interview with Toby Keith and Robin Marsh, which I'm from Oklahoma. So Robin Marsh is, she's been a long time um, news reporter there forever. I mean, like I remember her in high school. I mean, a long, long, long time. And so she did an interview with Toby Keith not very long ago. Um, and so, you know, his home is there in, in Norman, Oklahoma. So um, anyway, I got about halfway through it and, um, Anyway, just, you know, just a neat guy. But um, anyway, just very interesting. Very interesting. He was talking about the song, Don't Let the Old Man In. And he actually wrote that when he was, um, well, his inspiration was Clint Eastwood um, had made that statement. He says, you know, oh my gosh, you're, you know, how old and you're going to go to Georgia or somewhere and, and film this movie for weeks, you know, and he goes, how do you do it? And he said, I get up every day and I go outside and this, this, and this. And he said, and I don't let the old man in. And Toby said, wow. And so he went home after that and said, you know, that's, I'm going to write that for him. He said, I respect, you know, Clint Eastwood and, and all that he does and who he is and all that stuff. And he said, I'm going to write him a song. And so he worked on it for several days and then he um, sent it to him. And he said, actually, Clint Eastwood plays the piano and has written some songs for his movies. And uh, sent it to Clint Eastwood. And so anyway, he said, he got a call from him and said, I'm going to put this in my movie. And he was like, oh, wow. And he actually released that song years ago. And it wasn't that big of a hit. And so after the movie and all that, it's it's become a big, big hit. So anyway, I just thought that was really, really cool. You just never know where inspiration comes from. You never know where you know, when you make somebody's day, my mom always said, if you, if you see somebody and, you know, you think something like they, they look nice or, you know, you like their hair or, you know, the something, give them a compliment, you know, let them know because it, it can, it can mean the world to somebody. So anyway, all right. Um, I'm going to pause this and wait a few more minutes and until it cools and then we're going to test it. All right. It's been five minutes. I think I said 10. I read the instructions. It says five. So we'll see. Well, it's not warm anymore. 
I'm going to scoot this back. And it's it's a little warm at the bottom, but it's not hot by any means. Um, looks like the glue is melted. I'm going to take this off. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, but my big test is, can you lay it flat and right on it? Oh, I heard a little pop. Looks like it came loose there just a little bit, but they said if it comes loose a little bit, you can put it back in there to heat it up. But for the most part, look at that. So you can write. Oh, looks like looks like a, some sheets didn't get it right here. It did down at the bottom, but it didn't. See right there? That was probably user error. Those need to be, make sure they're up against that. I shove those back in there. There's one sneaking out. Okay, let's put this back on. I'm just shoving those back down in there. We're going to put this on. All right, we're going to try it again. Okay, I'm going to put it down in there. And it's touching the bottom. And see, so you can't, <clears throat> you have to hold, you have to hold the machine to um, push the timer. Okay, a little blue light is flashing. So we will wait and then let it cool after it cooks and then let it cool and then we'll check it out again. Okay, let's see if this made a difference. I'll take this little jobber off. I don't know. Let's see. I heard some cracking. Okay, let's check it out. So far, so good. Oh, right here at the front. So maybe I had too many pages. Maybe if I had a few less. Let's look at the back. Yeah, same thing down here. Nope. Okay, the back side is adhered. Whoop. Okay, it looks good. Maybe I just had a couple too many pages in there, but that looks good. Yeah, I'm impressed. I just wish it was weighted because it's so easy, you know, you can't push the button hardly. Well, because it's butted up to something there, but see, you can't. So it needs to be heavier and it's a little pricey. I mean, for what this is, it's kind of a glorified toaster. So, um, I mean, I think I'll use it a lot because I, I do this stuff. I think it'll be fun. It'll be nice to have in my crafty stash. Um, time will tell when I use this, if it holds up, if it stays pliable. So my only two cons are it's so lightweight, it needs to be weighted on the bottom and the price. Other than that, I think it's a neat little tool. All right, let me know if you got it and what you think. I mean, I think it's fun. I think I'm going to use it. But um, anyway, let me know. Would you buy it? Did you buy it? What do you think?